I got a picture of that lion coming right through there. Typically, I don't like to hunt on Sunday. I usually like to stay at home on Sunday with my wife, but my wife's out of town. I took her to the airport day before yesterday. Yesterday was Saturday, day before yesterday. Yesterday is when I had that lion down the canyon there. You've seen it on the other video. And then yesterday was my grandson's uh, birthday party in town, so I had to go to that. And I didn't want to get up here and get to hunt and get on track and not be able to make it for that and have to call the dogs off, so. So nobody's at home today, I was just by myself. Got up early, thought, well, I better come back up here. Cause tomorrow I have to go pick up my wife at the airport again, not until 5.30. When I come out, I wanna have the whole day. Cause if I don't have the whole day, and sure enough, I'll get on something, or the dogs will go over a rough spot and I have to go around. I don't get back until late, and I can't miss picking up my wife at the airport. That'd be really, really bad. Big Agnes, she's, I've been graining her in the morning in the trailer. She's, I mean, I've been using her up a lot of miles, but she's doing okay. Honey, I'll be back later tonight. I'm gonna go for a ride and see if I can find that lion. I'll get the roof on next week, don't worry. Three days ago, that canyon right there, you can kind of see it going down. I was gonna go up it, that's where I got two cameras located. And then I hit the lion track going back down. So today I gotta hit that same canyon, see if I can find a track, see what happens. But I'm gonna go up to hit the cameras and then make the same circle. Let's see, the day before that day, I came in from the other side and we hit the track and went to the cave. And then the day before that, I went up this way and I hit the lion going up. And the female dogs ran that sucker all over those rocks up there. Everything's just gotta be right to get one caught in this country. Guys criticize, I had a guy say on Facebook, said, I give the impression of cold nosed dogs that blow in a track but can't catch game. That's what he said, basically. <laughs> I said, man, if you can find somebody who's catching game in this country, let me know and I'll buy their dogs. As far as I know, I'm the only one hunting this country right here and there's a reason for it. But man, what a challenge. Maybe one of these days we'll get it right. I've been getting them on lions and we've been trailing, so that's good, you know. I came right over those hills right there two days ago. That's where I found the kill, or what? The little pile of hair. I think that's where that lion killed Okay, right there. That's gotta be about a four or five day old lion track going down. That's what we were on the other day. There it is again, right there. That's that track going down from the other day. Looks bigger today. I always say it, it's the same thing. I mean, once you get used to seeing lion track, you know, it's like that rattlesnake rattle. You know, you hear a lot of things that, that sound like a rattlesnake. And you, and it'll, oh, you know, you think that's a rattlesnake. It's not, and then, but when you hear a rattlesnake, you know it right away. Man, that's a rattlesnake. It's the same thing with a lion track after you're used to looking at them. You'll see things that, oh man, that looks like a, Looks like a lion track. Oh, and you, you try to make it out into a lion track and look and, but when you see it, it's like, wham. Oh, wow, there's a lion track. <laughs> it's all fun. Right around this corner is where we, the female dog started that track four days ago. All right. <laughs> this it's just how I figured it was I got a picture of that lion coming right through there I got my camera up there she came right through there I'll put that picture right here it'll be over the top of this 
That was on today's the 13th, yesterday the 12th, Friday the 10th, the 9th. Yeah, Thursday was the 10th when I was down there in those the high hills. No, yeah. Friday I took, geez, this is confusing for me. I have a hard time with dates. Y'all have probably noticed that. The 10th was Friday. That's when I went to the airport. Yesterday was my grandson's birthday party. I went to that. So the last day I hunted was on Thursday. That would have been the 10th, 13th, 12th, 11th, 10th. And that was the day I cut the track going down through here. That dirty booger. So the 9th was the day that the male dogs ran into the cave over there. And then I trailed back around, cut the track there and then trailed back up into there. So what that lion did is I think the day before she went and spent the night in that cave or spent the day in that cave, we quit before we could get there. It was late. And then the male dogs trailed to that. And then we, oh geez, that's crazy. Then we trailed across the flat, got over here where the other camera is. We're all go over there and check that. That's where the water is. And the male dogs trailed up into those hills. And then we lost it up there. We couldn't come around. Well, what that lion did, she was either up there. She was probably up there. And then she circled around and came right down through here. And then the next day is when we hit the track going that way. <laughs> oh, me. Nothing easy about this. I got to check this tree. I thought I seen a scratch up here. There's that track right there. No, there's no scratch up here. So I'm gonna go check this other camera and circle around. I don't know, I don't know what else to do. Just circle around, see what I can find. Put the miles on. What's that right there? Did I guess right? It's a daddy, which is Booger and all his boys. You just realize it. All those are Booger's sons. I turned them around up there. 
just because we got up they, they ran it real good but then we got where they should be running it still good and it just kept progressively getting worse and worse and worse and we were on a on a shady side a protected side of the mountain so i don't think there's any reason why it should have got worse so they're back here where we started what i would think is that line came down come around came down came walked that ridge right there where they're trailing and then came down and went back up because she went right through there one time before so maybe came down here and got a drink of water but i'm gonna i got a camera right here and i'll go check it i don't think she came up through here i don't see no tracks i went down there and checked the camera and the dogs kind of hit a good spot and moved pretty fast but i caught up to them lion's kind of going back the same way she went before the only thing i can figure is that she walked around went down went down into that country down there and that's where i was on thursday trailing her around and then whatever happened she she stayed down there for a little while and either she came back through here last night i can't i mean could it be a two-day old track i don't think so in this country but i mean who knows for sure i just know i'm trailing a lion dogs are doing super good dan's doing good uno does good al is doing really good booger of course is doing good when it gets a little tough the younger dogs don't have the confidence to keep going or the or the whatever it is i don't know you got a bad lose right there real bad lose yep there they go that's good that's good he's got it figured out he'll figure it out <laughs> here we go area right here thought I seen a track up there back there it's taking forever to get just see there's the track going down I do not know but if she came up through here if they trailed on the side of that hill they pick it up on this bedrock pretty easy see if booger or one of them picks it up again can't figure it out guys can't figure it out Totally confused now. I don't. <laughs> I don't know whether she's coming or going, or if I'm coming or going. Just totally confused. I got tracks going one way, then find tracks going the other way, and then we're trailing like we're gonna catch her, and then we're trailing like it's a two-day-old track. Then we go up across the greasewood. Then we get in a real good canyon like this, and she wasn't here. So. I don't know. I don't know. I think I'm going to just go home, feed everything, take care of all my animals, go inside, take a hot shower, put on my shorts, and uh, watch a football game. I think that's what I'm going to do. Cook me up a pork chop. If I still drank, then I'd have me a big old shot of whiskey, but I don't drink anymore. But it feels like one of those days where I should be drinking. Hey Brett, made a circle up near Magdalena Peak yesterday, no lion sign. Give me a shout sometime if you ever of a mind. This guy, he's one of two guys that I know of who've caught lions in this country. 